Well, here's another new product from GetRC. This is the Smart 3.5. I actually reviewed the Smart 3.5 on my channel a little while back, but I don't know if we've mentioned it in our new product roundup. So let's just get it in here. This is a 3.5 inch sub 250 gram micro quadcopter. Maybe it's a micro. Uh, and I think three and a half inches is a pretty sweet spot for freestyle under 250 grams. So you don't care about the 250 gram limit, then you could do some interesting things. But this is about the biggest you can get under 250 grams without giving up a lot of durability. Uh, and this is a pretty good quad. Um, now available in analog and HD. You flown any three and a half inches, Plenty? Um, I have not. Uh, actually, I think I flew that, I think the Baby Hawk. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. That is three and a half. Uh, yeah, so I've flown that. Um, I like that size. It's definitely a fun size. I like anything yeah. around that size. Like three inches, a really fun sweet spot. Um, so three and a half can definitely be very similar. Yeah, just a little bit lower disc loading, a little bit lighter feeling in the air, a little bit more power. Uh, Ciati actually likes three inches around two hundred and fifty to two hundred and eighty grams in some cases. He actually likes them a little bit heavier. Um, but I think this one is pretty good, pretty durable, and pretty fun. I got a full review, and I'll link it down in the video description. All right, so let's take a look at a couple more three and a half inches since they're already in that bracket. Um, we'll take a look at some beta FPV products. We've got the um, X Knight uh, 35 HD, and we've got the Twig XL three and a half inch uh, Racer X FPV. Um, I gotta say, um, I other than the just the quad parts, I am really uh, Happy to see um, that we have an Express LRS option um, on the X Knight 35. Really? Uh, yeah. That is exciting. I'm super excited to see more and more bind and flies coming with Express LRS receivers. Uh, so that's, that's really exciting. Um, a lot of people are picking up Express LRS as an inexpensive long range protocol, more and more Express LRS hardware, and th making that jump. To being able to buy it with it pre-installed, I think, is a, a critical hurdle that they seem to be overcoming. Um, yeah. Also, just of note, uh, as we know from the prices, it's only a ten dollar jump to Express LRS. So it's three fifty nine um, instead of three forty nine. And then if you jump to Crossfire, you got to pay three seventy nine for that thirty dollars receiver. Yeah, so. yeah. Express LRS receivers. Uh, all the uh, we we couldn't speak to the hardware quality. Like well, when something is built. <laughs> Something is built a beta by a FPV quad. Yeah, yes, exactly. When something's built by a beta FPV or a happy model, I think we could argue that it's not going to have the same, you know, white glove build quality as like a Crossfire. So fair enough. But in terms of range and performance, Express LRS has pretty much every bit of it uh, compared to Crossfire and is significantly cheaper. Um, as far as the quads go, you're right. These are beta FPV electronics and it is a hit or miss at best. Um, I would certainly take the GetRC Smart 3.5. I've had good results with it over this one. The Twig, I guess you're going for something lighter and more like a toothpick, like a three and a half inch toothpick. I don't think there's a ton of those out there. So I might, I might steer that direction if I really wanted that specific type of quad.